and welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to walk you through how to install Gerbil 1.1. So we're at the uh, GitHub site for uh, Gerbil 1.1. And to start with, I want to walk you through the installation checklist which uh, Gerbil provides. This is what we're going to use for the basis of our installation. So the first thing that um, it speaks about is downloading the Ger Gerbil source code here. Um, and kind of goes through and explains. Now the pieces, I have a resource page set up for this with uh, full links on it. So check down below in the description for that and it will take you to all these places. So the first thing it does is it walks us through to the GitHub, um, you know, iconic icon, if you will, for green the green clone or download. And so if we go over to that page, we'll see it over here and we're going to want to download it as a zip. When we download it as a zip, we're going to get this file uh, garble-master.zip you're going to want to do an extract on it um, if I get it right here extract all and as you can see I've extracted it to this folder this folder once you navigate down there'll be another subfolder uh, marked just as Gerbil there. Now this is the folder you're going to want. So so here, I mean this is an important piece. So we have our zip file, we have our extracted, and then we have our file which we're going to load into the ID in a minute. So with that being said, let's jump back to the next steps. So as you see here, we've already unzipped it. The next thing we want to do is launch the Arduino ID interface. What is the Arduino ID interface? Well, basically, it's the interface that you get, which allows you to program and manage uh, the Arduino. So I'll have a link to this. And as I'm doing this, the latest is 1.8.8. So I've downloaded it. Now, one of the things, there's a couple, if you're a Windows user, uh, you can get an installer, you can get a zip, or you can get the app from the App Store. I tend to use the... Uh, the installer up here versus going through the app store because they simply want too much from you they got to have an account and all that kind of stuff so I suggest going with just the installer if you're using Windows if you're Mac or Linux down here is what you'll need so with that done and that installed what will happen is you'll have an interface that will look something like this so now if you have that that looks great now a couple different things here I'm gonna jump back and let's keep going through the uh, installation so we've got the interface launched we've made sure it's the most recent version now what we have to do is remember that Gerbil folder we need to add that into the IDE as a library now the important thing here is it here we it explains how to do it click on the sketch button drop down menu to library Add zip now. This is where it gets a little confusing. We're not going to add the zip. We're going to simply add that folder. So as it says here, in our case, there is no zip file. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come back here to my IDE. I'm going to hit sketch. I'm going to go down to include library. And if I stay on here, I'm going to say add zip. And then what I'm going to do is this PC, I'm going to go to my downloads folder, navigate to Gerbil Master, go down into Gerbil Master, and now we see we have the Gerbil file that we spoke about in the last um, section. So I'm going to go ahead and click open. And that's going to library add it to your libraries. So now to check, I'm going to go back up here to sketch. I'm going to go to include libraries. And if I go over here, you'll see at the very bottom, we now have uh, the Garble library installed. And we can click on that. We can see it's not that. Now, you're not going to change anything here. Do not change anything. I've just went to this uh, to kind of show you how everything is set up. So now let's go back to the uh, home page. And now that we have that, so uh, we have all this set up. Additionally, select the wrong folder. So we didn't. So we're all set up. Uh, we need to open the, the Garble Upload ex Arduino example, and then what we need to do is compile and upload to, to um, the Arduino. So the first thing we need to do is go back to the interface, Examples Garble, 
And then you see here we are into examples. We need to keep this open. We'll scroll down. Here's Garble. So, and then we want upload, Garble upload. So that's what we select. It's going to open a different window as you see here. And then what we're going to want to do is we can do a verify, a first test compile to verify. So it's compiling sketch down here as you can kind of see. It's got the progress bar and it's sitting there thinking as it's compiling the sketch. And down here, everything done compiling. There are no errors. It tells us about the sketch, a little memory available, uh, but that's all good. So now the next piece we need to do is we need to upload the sketch, which is this arrow. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on this arrow. And basically it's going to start the same process over. So it's compiling the sketch, which is done. And now down here in the bottom, you can see it's uploading to the Arduino. There'll be some lights on the Arduino, which will come on. They'll blink. They'll do some other interesting things. And as you see, it's done uploading. And because we have no errors down here, that means everything is copacetic. So we have now flashed Garble onto our Arduino effectively. That's all it takes, folks. Very easy to do, not hard. So we now have Garble 1.1 on there. So we're now ready to move forward and install this on our machine. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have questions, hit me up down below. Swag Shop is going to be up in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We put out regular content. And we'll see you in the next video where we do more with Garble. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.